This is a demonstration on the VSR Sport Balance System, a tool used to assess an athlete's balance as part of a successful concussion management program. Once the athlete's information has been input into the system, you'll see how fast and easy it is to assess an athlete's balance using the Modified Stability Evaluation Test, also known as MSET. The MSET includes three well-known conditions. One, hands on hips, feet together, eyes closed. Two, hands on hips, single leg stance on non-dominant leg, eyes closed. And three, hands on hips, tandem stance, eyes closed. The MSAT test can be completed in approximately two minutes. Now that's fast. So let's see the VSR Sport in action. This is a simulation of an on-field balance assessment after a head injury has occurred. I'm going to have you stand feet side by side. There we go, centered. All right. Have your hands will be on your hips. You're going to close your eyes. Now, if you feel like you're losing balance, you can open your eyes or step off. But we're going to score you um, as, you, as your eyes are closed here. So, ready, begin. One twenty seconds. When the computer is measuring any sway or, or movement that you have with your eyes closed. Done. Time? Okay. Now we're going to stand on the one foot. Have your right foot, your left foot will be up in the air. So you get a good base and your hands will be on your hips. Your eyes will be closed. We're just for 20 seconds. Ready, begin. So the computer is counting. It's recording any movement, any sways an athlete would have. We're just sort of here to catch them if they might fall on the sideline. Good. Time, all right. A little wobbly. This one we're going to do tandem. We're going to do heel to toe, front to back. So get a little balance there. Got a good base. And you do hands on your hips. Then we have your eyes closed. And we're going to do this for 20 seconds. Ready? Begin. And this is computers measuring any movement, change in the center of gravity. We're just here to hold them in case they would fall on the sideline. Done. Time. Okay, open your eyes, you can step off here. Okay. Well, looking here on, on the computer, these are the results of the tests that we just did with you. Uh, these scores right here indicate your baseline of the, the first test that we did. And you can see they're very low uh, sway or movement. These taller boxes over here indicate the test that we did after your head injury. And you can see uh, down here that your sway or movement, you're still within the boxes of parameters, but they're much higher movement than uh, your baseline. So we're going to do your baseline testing here. So we're going to have you start standing on our force plate. So I'll have you come over here. We'll face this direction. Have feet uh, right in the center. Trying to put your, there you go, heels together side by side. With that, what we're going to do, we're going to test you here for 20 seconds. Uh, you're going to have your hands or your hips. Your eyes will be closed. And then uh, we'll, once you close your eyes, we'll start for 20 seconds. Ready? Begin. Doing good, we're just standing still. Computer's counting our timeline for 20 seconds. It's measuring if you have any sway or movement, forward, backwards, right to left, and then it records it. Open your eyes, good, that was the first test. We're gonna do two more here. This one you're gonna stand on your right foot only, so you're gonna have your left foot up in the air, so get your balance there a little bit. Here we go, and then you're gonna have your hands on your hips, so get your balance there. 
and you're going to close your eyes. When you close your eyes, we're going to stand as still as you can, and a computer is going to count that for 20 seconds. Ready? Begin. So once again, a computer is just recording if you are moving. Forward, back, right to left. And then we're able to look at this. And then in the future, if you have a head injury, we could compare it, see if you're balanced. Open your eyes. We could compare that in the future, see if you have any balance issues. For this uh, third part of the test, we're going to have your feet heel to toe with your right foot in back. So your right foot's back, your left foot's forward, heel to toe. There you go, just gaining your balance there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as the first two tests. We're gonna have your hands on your hips. Then when you close your eyes, we'll count that for 20 seconds here. Ready, begin. So computer is just measuring any of your sway or movement. So we would use this as your baseline. And then if you have any injuries in the future, we'd be able to compare that and see if your sway or balance is worse after a head injury. Good. Okay, you can step off. That was your baseline test. Okay, so we'd be able to use that after any injuries. We could use that on the sideline if we needed it and be able to use that to make a determination as to whether we're going to return you to play or not. Here you can see our, our athlete uh, doing the best test and he's uh, moving a little bit but his eyes are closed, hands are on his hips, he's not taking a step but you can see him moving. So with the best scoring system he would not score any points, he would be normal and probably would be returned to activity. With the M set, it's picking up that movement and compared against the baseline and therefore this uh, person would be held out of activity because his uh, sway is worse, his balance is worse after this head injury and this information will be able to be forwarded to a, uh, a physician. Uh, we have a couple of scores that are comparing your baseline that was done before the season started. The ones on the left here were the baselines and then the ones on the right you can see on all of these are a little higher. Those were done after uh, your suspected head injury. So uh, we would have thought if you had no head injury the baseline test would be equal to the one after your head injury. But here we can see all of these, the second column here um, is higher. So is indicating that your sway or your stability or your movement uh, is worse after this uh, impact.